I'm at the Potomac Vintage Riders Swap Meet in York, Pennsylvania. And this place is just packed out. It's a snowy day here in January, but there are lots of motorcycles, lots of vendors, lots of parts, lots of great people. So let's walk around and see what there is to see. This show and swap meet is traditionally very dirt bike heavy, but there are a lot of beautiful classic dirt bikes here. With all different brands from Montessa to Osa. We've got Honda, Mako, Boltaco, and just every other brand you can imagine. It's really cool to see all these classic dirt bikes restored and looking beautiful. Looking at some of the highlights of the show, I'm going to start with the dirt bike show bike area. Then I'll move into the street bike show bike area. And finally, I'll finish with the vendor area and bike corral. And at the end of this video, I will show you the bike that I left with. I did purchase my next project here at the show. First up, we have a beautiful little Suzuki here. This is an RL250. And what really stood out to me about this bike was just the sleek design of the bike, especially in comparison to a lot of the blockier styled dirt bikes that we'll see in a little bit here. Moving on, there were several of the Boltaco bikes. I notice on these, these are definitely show bikes. I don't think the originals came with the polished fork tubes or the polished engine cases. These were just some beautiful bikes and it was really cool to see them there. This is a very nice looking little Yamaha two-stroke. I'm not sure of the size. If any of you wants to chime in in the comment section below, please feel free to do so. I thought this was just a crazy looking Mako and really what stands out to me is the bright orange paint, that chrome tank, and then that really, really funky looking engine. In order to provide adequate engine cooling, Mako just used very large finning on the head and barrel of their engine. This is another cool one, but I'm not sure exactly what the make or model is. If you know, please comment in the comment section below. I thought this Hodaka with the chrome tank and chrome fenders looks really cool. It's not often you see an all chrome motorcycle. Moving into some of the street and trail bikes, there were a couple of the Honda 350 Scramblers here. Both of these bikes look really, really nice. A lot of these bikes look better than they did when they were sitting on their showroom floor originally. Just pieces of artwork, gorgeous. Moving into the street bikes and the show section, this is a beautiful R100S. I've always liked the design of the R100. Here we have a Ducati 851. I don't know how many of you remember when these came out, but this was the first Ducati that I fell in love with. I think these are just absolutely beautiful bikes. I know the 916 is more iconic, but these will always have a special place in my heart. Moving on, we have a really cool looking little BSA. I'm not much into the really old bikes, but this Triumph was just beautiful. I love the color scheme. I love the long and low stance of the bike. And although it's just a single cylinder machine, and I'm sure it's not very quick, it just looks fast sitting still. This is a nice little Superhawk. I've done a review on one of those. You can check that out here. These bikes were really impressive when they first came out, and they were able to challenge the European bikes of much bigger displacements. This is a really nice looking first generation Goldwing 1000. Just a beautiful bike there. This is a fully restored Honda CB360T. I've recently done a review on the CB360T and it was the first bike that I actually rode on the street. Okay, moving into the vendor section, there were so many parts and so many bikes and you could buy bikes in really any state of repair from a total fixer upper to ones that were ready to rock, ready to ride. And so we'll take a look around the vendor area here and I'll point out some of the highlights for me. First up, there was a Yamaha Seika 650 Turbo. And that's just a funky style bike, kind of a cool bike. This one actually had 58,000 some miles on it. So probably one of the highest mileage turbo bikes I've seen. I talked to the original owner and it was still in running and driving shape and he had used it to commute back and forth to work. 
and he claimed everything was in good working order. For me, the limited parts availability and support on the turbo machines makes them more of a rich man's toy. I shied away from this one, but it was a really cool bike. This is a cool little bike. It's a Honda GB500. It was released in the mid-90s, but it was designed to look like an older cafe racer. They were expensive for what they were. They didn't sell very well new, but they're now kind of a collector's bike. Here we can see a couple of the Kawasaki 500 triples. These definitely need some work to get them roadworthy. There was also a Kawasaki H2 there. That's a 750 triple two-stroke motorcycle. This one looked to be in fairly nice condition. It looked to be fairly original, and it actually sold at the show. This Triumph Bonneville 750 was a nice looking bike. It was for sale at the show as well. Looking at the bike corral, all of these bikes are for sale, and there are a lot of cool machines. In the foreground here, you can see a BMW Cafe Racer. That's kind of cool. This is a Honda CL350 Scrambler. We've got a Honda 750 Super Sport here. There were actually two of these at the sale. This was a really nice looking Yamaha XS650. I've ridden them. They're very vibey. I'm not a huge fan of the twin cylinder vibration on them, but they are a cleanly styled bike. This is another cool one. This is a BMW R100 RS. I've always liked these. The price on this one wasn't bad, but the mileage was over 100,000 miles, so not really my cup of tea. This is a pretty clean looking Suzuki GS550L. There were a couple more Italian bikes at the show. This one is a small two-stroke Moto Guzzi. I was surprised to see a pair of Benelli 500 Quattro motorcycles there. This one looks to be in fairly decent condition. The styling on these bikes is really odd. I don't think there's a pretty piece on the entire motorcycle. I think everything is very blocky and very odd looking. But the crazy thing is it kind of works in a funky, cool sort of way. The second Benelli here has a cool little fly windscreen. Last up here, we've got a 1980 Honda Hawk 400T. This bike only had 3,800 original miles. I thought it was cool. I love the styling on it. I think it looks like the CB750F Super Sport and the CB900F. So I actually bought this bike and it is my next project. So stay tuned for some update videos on that. I'm gonna do a project intro video here shortly and then we'll start work on this cool little vintage Honda. I really had a good time at the show. It was a great turnout. The parking lot was absolutely packed. There were lots of people, lots of vendors, lots of cool bikes, and it was a great way to spend a cold, snowy January day. As always, I hope you found this video entertaining and informative, and until next time, enjoy the ride.